Hey, it's Glam Ham, September 29th, 2024. This is for the people affected by Hurricane Helene and people who want to help them. It is horrific what's happening. They're saying it's not on the mainstream news. It is biblical level catastrophic. This is not just the coast of Florida. We've got Alabama, we've got North Carolina, entire areas just gone. Death counts higher than we may be expecting. Apparently areas where people have to leave and they can't even take bodies with them. Horses have drowned, livestock is drowned, bridges have collapsed. So I want to offer what I can offer, which is radio knowledge. I know many of you have these radios. Many of you prepper folks get these radios. And if you're in those affected areas and you have these radios and you haven't perhaps got your license and you might not know what to do with this radio, I'm going to tell you what to do. Everybody's writing to me now, of course, seeing how radio is what comes in to kind of save the day. They're saying, what radios do I get? These are the models that I recommend. This is a H8 model of TID radio. This is a H3. They're in my showcase. This model is bigger, heavier, more chunky. It's 10 watts. This is smaller, less expensive. It's five watts. It's your choice. I'm going to show you some frequencies that you need to know about so that you can communicate as legally as possible. Number one, many people get these Baofengs uh, because they think, hey, I can, whoops. <laughs> many people get the Baofengs uh, and ham radios and they just assume, hey, I'm okay in an emergency to communicate. It is a huge myth. Number one, the FCC views emergency that it's a threat of life and property and there's no other means of communication, i.e. you do not have a cell phone or a cell phone signal. Obviously with Hurricane Helene, we are fitting that quota right now, but you still need to know what frequencies to transmit on. The reason ham radio requires a license, it's the number one question I get. Ham radios can be uh, unlocked to transmit on frequencies that interfere with aircraft, military, first responders. I don't think I need to go on. So you need to know what frequencies you're not going to hamper other life-saving things that are happening. You don't want to interfere with first responders, right? Or helicopters or aircraft. But for those of you wanting to listen and monitor, please check my last video. This video is for people who need to transmit. So you've got your handheld ham radio that you may or may not have ever learned to use. Okay, they all switch on uh, with this top, which is the volume as well. On any of these radios, you are going to have a button that will say something like V and M. Uh, the Baofeng has it too, right here. It says VFOMR. That stands for VFO, which is how you alter the uh, frequencies, and M is for memory. Right. What that translates to is the two modes are frequency mode. That's the one you want. Channel mode. That's the one you don't want unless you're saving frequencies. Okay, so whatever radio you have, you're going to press the, that VM button and it's going to flip flop between your saved frequencies and where you enter frequencies. So I'm just going to double check. We are into frequency mode. Channel, mo channel frequency mode. Okay, so we're, and we're going to enter the frequency. One, This is the national calling frequency on VHF. National calling frequency means that is the frequency you use in an emergency, a life and death emergency. That is also the frequency when there's not an emergency, new hams can get on that frequency, throw out their call sign and start to learn from other hams. You don't want to chit chat on that frequency. So people right now in the emergency, you want to try and make contact on that frequency. If you have a longer message that you need, and many people might be trying to use that frequency or they may not, I don't know how many people out there have radios, but, um, the general practice is you make the contact on the national calling frequency for the emergency. And if you need a long message, you may want to change frequencies. Someone might suggest to you, 
with someone on the national calling frequency i'll just turn on let's say you're volunteering for a group that's set up and you're reporting on lists of needs and lists of injuries that kind of stuff you're going to want to get off that frequency i'm going to tell you something else if you have the radios that i have been recommending for a long time now i'm going to show you how you unlock them so that while you are in this circumstance, you have more frequencies to use. You have walkie-talkie frequencies. Those are FRS, Family Radio Service. Please know that I am giving this information for those affected in this catastrophe and disaster in Hurricane Helene. So on the smaller radio, you're going to hold the PTT button, push to talk. You're going to hold the star button and you're going to turn on. And now you see you have, this is fabulous radio because you can have ham, you can have GMRS, which requires a license, but no test. In fact, everyone today should go online and just apply at the FCC. If you're in the United States, just go get your GMRS license so that you can have up to 50 watts of power legally on radios. Go uh, look up FCC GMRS license. Do not use your home address because it becomes public. Do not use your home address. Put a PO box, put your work address. The FCC doesn't really care about the address. They just want a valid email, right? And you're going to pay $35 it will give you a call sign for 10 years that your whole family can use as in your immediate family not your relatives in Denmark but those living under the same roof or your you know your your close family can share that call sign um, and it will be assigned should be assigned in a couple of days everyone should do this right so these radios are legally approved in the US for GMRS they're legally approved for ham if you have no license right now you're gonna want this one number three normal and that what that's going to do is unlock it that doesn't mean you're going to just transmit on any frequency because that could interfere as i say with life-saving services like first responders aircraft so we're going to press um three and it's going to initialize the system and we're going to say yes so we press the little number one for yes well, so my battery is uh well yeah about about done over here so, so that's uh, somebody transmitting on that national calling frequency. I'm going to put up a list now of those legal frequencies that are walkie-talkie frequencies. And uh, for all of those people who are like, why do I need a, a license for walkie-talkie? Okay, these are not walkie-talkies. If it's not abundantly clear, you could seriously do some major interference with this radio uh, if you don't know what you're doing. And that is why ham radio requires a license so that you learn and understand where your batch of frequencies is just like driving a car you're not going to drive a car along a train track right it would be not smart radio just the same thing so um, these frequencies these FRS frequencies you won't get into trouble now technically FRS frequencies is maximum two watts you can turn these radios down to lower uh, watts in the emergency if it were me hypothetically i would keep it on high power um, i want to show you for the bigger radio because it has a slightly different code to unlock it to frs frequencies this is the h8 big chunky 10 watt radio um, right so let me just i'm going to again press ptt so for the h8 you're going to hold ptt when the radio is off you're going to press this one the hash button the pound sign and turn on and now it's going to ask you if you want to unlock and menu is yes Welcome. done we have an unlocked radio and you can use those walkie talkie frequencies and if you are in that true emergency um, you can use uh, the national calling frequency by the way the uhf national calling frequency is four four six zero 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 megahertz four four six point zero 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 um i hope this is useful information i am literally uh as i know many people are we're just so upset about what's going on over there so um people with radios put your radios to good use people who don't have a radio got a freaking radio okay we'll talk to you soon bye